Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So today is going to be a video that is a part of the Angel series. And today we're going to be focusing on Archangel Raphael. Now I have posted a video where I talk about Archangel Raphael briefly and why he's one of my favorite angels. But of course, you know, with the Angel series, I have like a process and a kind of format that I use for this, uh, for the Angel series. So, of course, in the Angel series, I, you know, worked with Raphael for a little bit specifically for the series. I let him know this is for the Angel series. So anytime I go through that format, they typically know the difference between that and like a regular conversation. So, and I just want to let you guys know too that I have a specific journal that I use to record all of my conversations with the angels or any other beings that I work with and connect with. And I'm working on a special project for everyone whether you're subscribed to my channel or not, it's going to be posted on my website as soon as I'm done with it. And I'm going to kind of take you through that process of creating a journal for connecting with the angels or any other divine beings that you'd like to connect with. So I'm excited to share that with you once I'm done. And of course, once I'm done, I will let you know immediately. <laughs> okay. So um, in the meantime, if you'd like to schedule a healing session with me, something a little bit more one-on-one, -on -one, please feel free to go to my website. It's linked down in the description box. And if you want more special videos, please feel free to subscribe through my Patreon page. I have different videos that I share that are different than the ones that I post here on YouTube. And they're a little bit more personal for those that are patrons. And I'm, I have a few more ideas too that I want to implement into my Patreon. I think it'll get interesting. So <laughs> just check that out and stay tuned for any updates. Okay, so let's get to it. Archangel Raphael. Archangel Raphael, like I said, is one of my favorite angels. When you tune into Raphael's energy, the energy that is flooding from your heart when you connect with this angel. I mean, I feel like at times Raphael feels similar to Haniel in a lot of ways because they're both very heart centered. Raphael's a little bit different. I'm going to go into how in a moment, but they, they're both very heart centered. So when you tap into Haniel's energy and you tap into Raphael's energy, you're going to feel this kind of heart expansion happen that doesn't necessarily happen with the other angels. Let's say like, Uriel, which I'll do soon, uh, Gabriel, which I did recently. It's like, it's a different, <laughs> it's a different attunement when you tune into Archangel Raphael. Archangel Raphael is sweet. Like I said, very grounded into the heart and he can really help you establish a strong connection with your own heart chakra. And he's very supportive. And I, I just love Archangel Raphael's energy. So when you, when I tune into Archangel Raphael's energy, I see, of course, an emerald green light. And as you know, there are different grades of emerald and different, um, I guess you could say, kind of grades of emerald green. So I feel like for Raphael, he has a bright emerald green energy as opposed to the really dark emerald green energy. I know a lot of people assume... Uh, when you say emerald, it's kind of like the dark emerald because sometimes emerald does look dark depending on if it's lab created or natural, but he has the kind of brightness of emerald green when I've worked with him in the past, not just when I've had this conversation. So when I tune into his energy, there's a feeling of being calm, feeling at peace and like all is well. It's like one of the best feelings ever. So now just going into like what he's known for, Archangel Raphael, the name Raphael means God has healed or God heals. And he is of course associated with healers and healing those that are in uh, the medical profession or those that are participating in some sort of alternative healing modality. What's interesting about Raphael though, is that 
he made me feel that he's also associated with people who are scientists or people that think in like a scientific way. And it's a certain kind of thinking. I guess maybe some people would say that it's linear thinking, uh, but I, he did make me feel like it's a little bit more than just A plus B equals C. There is an element of creativity to the scientific thinking. Um, so it's kind of like an expansive scientific thinking. I don't know how else to describe it, but it was intriguing to see that. So I feel, or I felt when connecting with Raphael that he also helps people that are like inventors, people that really have to use their analytical mind and piece things together. Uh, my screen glitched, so hopefully, I don't know if that'll show up on the video. But um, Raphael is really good at <clears throat> working with people that are inventors, like I said, people that have to like piece things together and really think in a very detailed way. So I found that very interesting. Raphael is also associated with, let's see, he also, he also showed me that he's very good at helping people that, let's say, have to do work that is associated with, let's say, um, you know, people that work on like space, like, um, not spaceships, but like people that have to work on, let's say, rockets or spacecrafts or things that go up into space. So I found that very interesting. It's not so much the travel portion, but it's like the machinery. So that level of thinking. So now, of course, he also mentioned, um, I say of course, because a lot of people know this about Raphael, but Archangel Raphael helps with those who are sick so he can help with alleviating symptoms bringing health to the body and yeah so body oriented levels of health now this is important because i feel like sometimes when it comes to more modern forms of spirituality there's a lot of focus on healing that happens on a mental level so healing that happens on the level of, okay, well, if you heal the mind, you heal the body, you heal the emotions or heal the mind, emotions, and then the body itself heals. But Archangel Raphael is also very helpful with shifting someone's energy through the body. Okay, so having a different approach to healing where you start with the body, which then can, which can then shift the mind or a person's state of mind. So Raphael made me feel that this is just as important as working on a mental level to heal the body. You can heal the body and then that can therefore heal the mind, okay? So I thought that was a really interesting uh, perspective, okay? So let's see. I'm just kind of looking in my journal uh, to look to see my notes and stuff. So... I presented this experience to Raphael because I, I had a way of perceiving him that I thought was interesting and I wanted him to explain it to me. I had the sense that Raphael is very good at helping people to bring more light into their bodies, okay? So it was like the sense that I got because there was a point where we were working together closely during my spiritual growth process a couple of years ago. And I got this sense of like this kind of moving upward. That's what it felt like and more light entering the physical container. So what Raphael told me was that he's very good at preparing the body for certain stages of spiritual growth. Okay. So preparing the body to receive higher levels of divine intelligence, uh, light, uh, increasing light quotient because the body is affected by those things. So Archangel Raphael is really good for helping to clear out the debris on an emotional level uh, to prepare and purify the body so that when the light comes in, it flows more seamlessly. Okay, so that's I think that's a good thing to remember. So I think a lot of people associate 
Archangel Metatron with massive leaps in spiritual growth. And Metatron is really good with stuff like that. But Archangel Raphael is also really good too. <laughs> they just work on different levels. So for me, if I wanted to establish some sort of healing on an emotional level, if, I, if I'm dealing with something emotionally or physically, I would ask for Archangel Raphael's help, especially if it's emotional. If I am feeling like something is off with my body, if something is off with my state of mind, if my energy needs like full clearing on all levels, I'm going to Metatron. <laughs> so, you know, just something to keep in mind. So what's now kind of touching upon what I said I would touch upon earlier, where Archangel Haniel and Archangel Raphael can feel similar at times. Archangel Raphael seems to have this expression within his energy where it's linking the heart and the mind together okay i mean they're technically they they have a relationship anyway but archangel raphael is really good with helping those two merge together in a healthy way because like i said previously he does feel to have a very like heart based but then also head based so he does work on different levels, but he's very good at merging those two aspects together, I found. Going into the gemstones that you can use for connections with Archangel Raphael, emerald, of course. I also got Vesuvianite, okay, so you can also use that, and Jade. I personally feel like you can use any green stone. Like, I'm wearing green aventurine, okay? I love green aventurine really really good for helping to heal the heart especially if you're the kind of person who's always giving like when i was doing when i used to do readings at uh, the bookstore that i used to work at i always felt like by the end my heart was too open because you know i was still working on my boundaries at the time i always felt like my heart was way too open it almost felt like it was like this like somebody had ripped it open because i was giving too much of my time and energy so I would wear green aventurine and it would help me so much to um, kind of bring the heart back into balance. And I also found that it was very good for maintaining the integrity of the heart just overall. So love green aventurine for so many reasons. Now, I was also seeing that Archangel Raphael, even though Raphael has like an emerald green energy primarily. I also saw a little bit of yellow in there too, kind of like um, like a creamy yellow color. And I feel that this is a representation of the energy of our solar plexus connecting with our hearts. So, you know, all of the energy centers are connected to each other. They're not separate. So I, he did make me feel like some of the energy within the solar plexus kind of meets up at the heart space in a way. So Symbols for Raphael, the Caduceus, hello. <laughs> um, uh, this last part, I don't know if I'll share this on here. Maybe I'll share that on my Patreon. The last thing that I'll share with Raphael is the last thing he wanted us to know before we continue into the meditation is that Archangel Raphael works heavily with light workers, especially now, because light workers can also be seen as caretakers for the earth. So if you think about people that are healers and people that are, let's say, working in the medical profession, those that love to be of service, they're caretakers in a way. They feel the need to be of service to others. So Archangel Raphael is a good angel to call upon if you feel that you're in that kind of like light worker category and you want to be of service. Archangel Raphael can help you with that. Okay. All right. So let's continue with the meditation. I already let Raphael know earlier that we're going to be doing this. So... <laughs> So just get comfortable. You can either sit or lie down, but preferably sit. Just focus your attention on your breathing for now. Focusing on the inhale through the nose, exhaling out through the mouth.
Continue focusing on your breath. I'm just setting the intention that we'll be connecting to Archangel Raphael's energy tonight through this meditation. Archangel Raphael is present with us now. You may feel the emerald green glow emanating from his energy field. You may feel his warm presence, his love. And at this time, imagine a beautiful faceted emerald crystal sparkling and glimmering and place this emerald within your heart space. And see yourself surrounded in Archangel Raphael's emerald green light. This emerald green light will help to stabilize your energy. And bring you to a space of peace, groundedness, and centeredness. See this emerald green light moving through every aspect of your being from your crown chakra down into the third eye, moving throughout your entire face, your head, your ears. Seeing the emerald green light moving through your throat and opening up the throat chakra. Seeing the emerald green light move through your shoulders, your chest, expanding the heart, moving through the arms and hands and the fingers and the fingertips, which are all extensions of the heart. And seeing the emerald light move down through the solar plexus, opening up the solar plexus and moving through any restrictions or any tightness within the solar plexus. Moving the energy down into the sacral chakra. Opening the sacral chakra, moving down through the root, stabilizing the energy here through the sacral and root chakra and seeing this emerald green light flow through the legs and down into your feet and the soles of your feet and just see this emerald green light moving through every cell of your being and clearing your energy clearing your energy of any paradigms, any memories, any thoughts, anything on a muscular level as well that is not serving your highest and best good. Healing your internal organs Healing all of your tissues, your cells, you may see the energy moving up through the throat and the backs of the ears, the eyes.
and going through the top of the head and opening your connection to spirit through the crown chakra. And then that also opening up your heart. And just feel the peace and the centeredness that comes with the assimilation of this emerald green light. Feel the strong connection with your body and the balance that is there for you now. And Archangel Raphael supports your health and your well being. and is bringing healing to your entire system and all of the systems within your, the larger system of your body. Healing you on an emotional level So you may feel focus on different areas of the body. Some may feel it in the sacral, the sacrum area, and the lower chakras. So to help with creating a firm foundation for yourself. Ooh. And I felt something on the left side, kind of like flutter. Some people may feel that. Feel any spiritual debris and any residual energy that you may be holding on to being dissolved by Archangel Raphael's emerald green light. And see that as these energies are being dissolved, it's making room for more of your higher self and your true radiance to shine through. We have the presence of Master Hilarion with us as well to support in this process. Focus on your breathing for a moment as this takes place. You may feel guided to move around a little bit and this is normal as this clearing takes place. So you may feel guided to shake, move your limbs around, feel free to do whatever you feel guided to do. That's what's needed to help the energy move, move out. And just feel the light of your higher self freely flowing through your being and see that as that debris was cleared, there is more room for your light to shine through. So your energy may feel more electrified right now.
Saint Germain has also entered <laughs> into the session. He entered about 30 seconds ago. <laughs> He feels to be working on a uh, on the level of your geometrical uh, your grid lines within yourself. And just helping refine and retune some things. Okay, and you may feel a shift within your entire being right now as a result of this. Okay, you can just kind of like move your shoulders and kind of circle them. Circle your head. shake as much as you need to to release the energy okay so I'm going to call the energy back now because I have a limit with <laughs> my videos on my phone but setting the intention that whatever healing or whatever shifts that need to happen for you will continue beyond this meditation sending gratitude to Archangel Raphael to Master Hilarion and Saint Germain for the healing that has taken place today and sending lots of love. So on the count of one, your spirit will be returned to your body and you'll be centered in the present moment. Three, two, one. Okay, so I hope you all enjoyed that meditation slash healing session. I thought that was beautiful. So um, stay tuned. I'm hoping that maybe next time I'll work with Archangel Uriel. You guys know what a strong relationship I have with Uriel. Okay, so that should be interesting. Um, so thank you all so much for watching. I send you all so much love and gratitude. Take care. Bye-bye.